I Believe in Wrestling at the Team Vision Dojo. And look who's here. Santana has traveled Japan. She's traveled everywhere, actually. She's been in NXT. It's just a great story. Her dad was a wrestler. And really, tell us, you got your start here? Is this where you got your start? Yes. Um, so I was going up to school uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, but. 99% of my training was here at the Team Vision Dojo. Uh, tonight we had an I Believe in Wrestling event. I wrestled um, Reagan Fire. It was her debut match, so very first match. 17 year old, has so much passion and um, bright future ahead for her, definitely. Well, bright futures, we could say Santana, you're having a bright future and it keeps growing. Oh my gosh. Just what do you think about all the things that you've been doing and what that Team Vision Dojo has helped you in achieving all of this? It's incredible. I mean, if I look back over the past, not even year, I mean, I've held some pretty prestigious titles, including the NWA World Women's Championship, the Shine Championship. Um, I, I won my first tour to Japan. I won the um, Wonder of Stardom Championship. It's a big freaking deal. I've been to eight plus countries in the last eight months. I've done multiple tours. And I got to say, like, sometimes I'm like, pinch me. Is, is this real life? Because it's incredible. When I first started training, I mean, this is what I dreamed of. I dreamed of traveling the world, doing what I love, and, you know, I owe a huge thanks to the Team Vision Dojo. I mean, they've definitely prepared me in every single way and have made me the woman and the wrestler that I am. So, major props to them. What is it like also when you're able to come back? Because you're wrestling a lot of big shows, yeah. and then you're also coming back and doing some smaller shows and all. Right. So what's that like for you to do that? Um, you know, you never forget where you came from, and the Team Vision Dojo has done so much for me that it's only fair that if I'm in town, I mean, I live right down the road. I'm going to come here. These are my, these are my family members. These people have been supporting me from the very beginning, whether it's the other wrestlers or the fans that have been here since the beginning, like my first shows, they were here for them. So it, it, it's pretty cool to be able to, to come back and, and it's just a feeling of accomplishment, being able to go out and, and you know do all these tours and then still come home and, and it just feels amazing. And have fun. Yes, oh my gosh, that's the number one rule, you gotta have fun. <laughs> and I'll end it with this, uh, what was it like for you working NXT and having your name on the big screen, having the entrance music, that was, I was actually there for that show. Oh, you so were there? I okay. actually was. So it was really cool. But, yes. for, but for you, I mean, it was cool for me and that was me. So what was it like for you when that all happened? Um, it's really like a surreal feeling because when I started out, that was one of the things, you know, that was my ultimate goal was to be in the WWE. And yeah, I don't have a contract yet. Um, but, you know, I'm there, I'm wrestling, I'm standing toe to toe with some of the best that they have to offer, and I'm holding my own. And it feels pretty darn good to hear the crowd chant my name, to chant headband power, to chant Santana. You know, it, it, it feels amazing because, you know, the fans know who I am, and I've, I've, I've done a great job in, in making a name for myself on the independent scene, and that's just the next step. And um, to have the support from the fans, I really, really love it. Like, it, it gave me goosebumps. Well, Santana, thank you so much. Continued success, and it's no wonder why you're doing really well with the training you have and with the talent you have and the background you have. It's all coming together for you, so congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.